What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. Ever wanted to play PS4 games right on your PC? Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to make that happen with Shad PS4, the powerful emulator that lets you bring your favorite PS4 titles to life on your desktop. In this video, I'll walk you through everything, from installation to setup, the best configuration settings, adding games, checking compatibility, and some pro tips to get the best performance. Stick around, because this is the ultimate guide to transforming your PC into a PS4 gaming powerhouse. This is a complete tutorial, so watch the full video carefully. For more informative videos, please like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button. First, we'll download the Shad PS4 emulator. Shad PS4 is available on their official site, shadps4.net or the GitHub page. I'll leave the link in the description. The official site always has the latest build, and you can also check the GitHub page for older versions. So I prefer the Shad PS4 site. On the download page, you'll see options for all operating systems. Shad PS4 is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Since I'm using Windows, I'll prefer the Windows QT version. After clicking Download, your download should start immediately. Once the download finishes, we need to extract the file since it's in a zip format. If you don't have an extractor, you can download 7-Zip, a reliable, free zip extractor. Check the description for the link. Right-click on the zip file, go to 7-Zip, and select Extract File. Once it's extracted, you'll get a folder with all your files, and you can delete the zip file to launch the emulator. Now open the newly extracted folder and double-click the main executable file, which has the Shad PS4 logo. You'll see a pop-up asking you to add a directory for games and DLC. For now, click Cancel since we'll add games separately. Now you should have two screens, one showing the console and the other displaying the Shad PS4 emulator. Don't close the console, just minimize it and full-screen the emulator screen. Now let's add games. I recommend you create two folders, one for PS4 games and one for PS4 DLC. I can't guide you on where to obtain the PS4 game files due to community guidelines. Let's assume you have a PlayStation 4 game ROM, such as Sonic Mania. It might be in ISO format, but Shad PS4 supports only PKG files for games. Right-click on the PS4 file, select 7-Zip, and choose Extract here. This will create a PKG file, which is the format Shad PS4 uses. Back in the Shad PS4 emulator, go to the top menu and click File. Navigate to where your PKG file is saved, highlight it, and click Open. The emulator will begin extracting the PKG file, which may take some time. Once complete, the game will appear in your library. If you prefer to view your games in grid mode, go to View, then Game List mode, then select Grid View. You can also customize the game size. You can always switch back to list view to see details like game versions. Now let's configure some settings. Under the option General and Emulator, enable full screen for a more immersive experience. You can change the console and emulator language here. Change the channel to Nightly. Check if there are any new updates available. Enable Check for updates. Next, go to Graphics. Select your graphics card under Auto Select and set the resolution to either 720p or 1080p. Anything above 1080p I might cause crashes, so keep it moderate. Click Apply and then Save. You might notice that the controller option is inactive. Shad PS4 automatically detects Xbox One, Xbox Series, and PS5 controllers when connected. Just plug in your controller before launching the emulator, and you're ready to play without extra configuration. If you don't have any controller, no need to worry. You can use a keyboard and mouse. So let's load up a game like Jack and Daxter. Once it's running, press F11 to toggle full screen mode. Thanks for watching. I hope this guide helped you get Shad PS4 up and running smoothly. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more tutorials, tips, and gaming content. Do you have any questions or need further help? Drop a comment below and I'll do my best to assist. Until next time, happy gaming and I'll see you in the next video.